There are a lot of issues going on in America right now, but this one, interestingly enough, is rising to the top of people's minds. Welcome everybody to the Hop Hop Boys. David and Andrew here. We're talking about a topic that people ask us to talk about. We don't usually talk about it on our channel, transgender issues. They are trending right now because as you may have heard, Leah Thomas, a transgender swimmer from UPenn, was on the men's team first and then transitioned and now is winning races as a woman. Also, Kentanji Brown Jackson, Supreme Court Justice nominee, said she cannot define the difference between men and women because she is not a biologist. And if you guys are enjoying our Hot Pop Boys series, please hit that like button, hit subscribe. Let's go. We're going to be addressing Leah Thomas, and I think we're going to be addressing it on a micro, mid, and macro level. First, the micro. Let me just tell you this. I do not have a lot of Asian friends that actually had strong opinions or posted about the Leah Thomas controversy. But who's posting about it? A lot of white people and a lot of black people. And particularly, I feel like a lot of guys are weighing in. Now that might be because this is a sports issue and men love sports. Right, I think particularly jocular or athletic guys that uh, you know really value that world. Asians, Andrew, obviously we've talked before, they tend to care about what? Economics, academics, crime you know not really within our sphere of like thinking but i did notice that maybe it's because white and black people are the mostly composing the athletes in d1 or pro sports same with kentaji jackson that was like maybe even bigger i want to say in the african-american black community than it was in the white community and leah thomas was bigger in the white community because most members are white yeah and honestly a lot of asians they're not voicing their opinions in my opinion because one i think asians only have like a certain amount of political energy that they put forth to things i will say this that i noticed that a lot of black people commentating on this issue always bring up lebron playing in the WNBA. Yeah. Well, that's actually a Dave Chappelle joke, but I just noticed that I see that trope a lot. Yes, they're using it as an example as if LeBron were to transition into being a woman and wanted to play in the WNBA, would they stop him from playing because he would probably drop? Well, 80? Dave Chappelle said 450 points a game. But uh, realistically, I think because of the defenses, they would start to double team. He'd, he'd only average like 75, but plus like 30 assists. Right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> So now we've gotten through who does seem to really have this top of mind, who doesn't. Let's get to the mid. I think the mid picture is how do we get past all this like digging our heels in the sand and like beefing with each other, like this clash thing? And how do we just like come together to figure out a solution? Well, because I think the solutions talk has to start because we're not going back in time. This is where this generation is at. This is the future now. Yes, identity politics or identity talk whatever you want to call it it is what it is asian identities lgbtq huge identities like this is here so you're not going to turn back the clocks of time but a lot of people are like oh we should keep men and women separate i'm not saying that there's not like a point to that argument oh, there's a, a lot of valid arguments a lot of valid arguments but i'm saying you got to start thinking solutions because there is only going to be more and more transgender athletes so that's it by the way guys I support Leah Thomas. I support her identities to represent herself however she wants. People should call her whatever she wants. And I actually think that she should be allowed to compete as a woman. I will say this. I do think it could make sense in division one sports that whatever you enter as, whatever you got your scholarship as, I think that you should have to compete as a male if you declared as a male. Okay, that makes sense. That, and if that, you declared as a female, compete as a female. Guys, let us know in the comments down below if you like David's solution. Um, I think you really have to look at, do transgender women athletes potentially take opportunities away from women, women, or I guess cis women, right? And I think if it gets to a point where maybe all the top 20 athletes, women athletes are transgender women that were formerly men, born as men, then maybe that's something that you'd have to be like, yo, I, I don't know, do, do we give them their own race or give them their own league? This is kind of like taking opportunities away from women. You're also, saying if UConn women's basketball team is like all Juwana man. This is not going, this is what people are extrapolating. I don't know if this is what happened, but if you took like five like top male prospects of basketball and they were like, hey guys, we feel like women and legitimately they do. And then they like become women and then they all play and then they just dominate, dominate. Is that like, should you do something about that? Should you step in and intervene and be like, hold up, this is not yeah, right. Yeah. So, so anyway. I, I do think that visual aesthetics play into it because when you looked at Leah Thomas on that, um, like the top four yeah. finishes, she did look like obviously like way larger. Yeah, so she looked way larger, but it is important to note that her testosterone levels were below what they're supposed to be. 
Right, because there's now, regulations just like in the Olympics on testosterone yes. level. So the question is, is testosterone level the only thing you're judging on? Anyways, another possible option is you have women athletes vote on this. I don't know. They're the ones that are going to be affected by it. I'm not affected by this. I'm not a female athlete, nor am I a female. I'm a male, and I'm not in college anymore. So let female athletes vote on it, I guess, and then you can revisit the vote after 10 years. Right. Andrew, this brings us to our final macro takeaway from all this talk, whether we're talking about Kentaji Brown Jackson or, or even some people are even drawing some comparisons to Ukraine right now, where obviously if you are a, um, a transgender, you are being turned back at the border by the military to go back and fight for Ukraine because you're on your passport. It says you're a man. Right. Which means you're able bodied They'll get my hand you an AK or whatever. It's a tough situation, honestly. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Very, very, very complicated and um, obviously just a terrible situation all around. We just have to understand the moment we're in in history. People have to study history and they have to study where societies are at. America has achieved a lot economically. A lot of people have a lot of things. Like, Andrew, I see people who are like, I don't want to compare it to other countries, but like even a poor person in America can have an iPhone. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we kind of like reach this level where society can talk about these type of issues that are more higher on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Okay. And obviously there's other places you see Ukraine, they're not there. I mean, there's a lot of other parts of the world where on identity issues, they're like 30, 40, 50, 60 years behind potentially. It's a little bit like 1850s uh, France in Paris. They would love romanticism. They have was so many different art movements while America was still like, Andrew, everybody was like, had their face covered in like soot. And they were like, you know, standing on those like skyscraper beams in New York City. Like, look at how different the two societies, like where they were at in their stages of development. You're saying that a lot of Americans don't want to acknowledge that America actually has a lot of other huge issues that are potentially symbolic of America crumbling, but they don't want to think about it. And they want to focus on women's sports because it's sports. It's an easy topic to attack. Yeah, but here's the thing, Andrew. That's literally been the pattern in a lot of societies. Man. But that's why I said the Roman Coliseum. Wait. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. What do you guys think about the current culture war over trans issues in America right now? Uh, or maybe you don't have an opinion because maybe you're like Asian and you're thinking about just like coming up to, you know, because your parents are first generation. Let us know. Keep it civil, guys. We're just here to spark discussion, show you how we're thinking about it. And yo, shout out to our non-Asian friend for pushing us to make this video. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Hot Pop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.